Hey there, it's Casey Demon here with TaxSaleAcademy.com. First off, I want to thank you for joining me on this week's tax sale training tip video. If you are looking to learn more about investing in tax talk and real estate, make sure you hit that red subscribe button. That way you subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on the future tax sale training videos that we post, which we do so three times every single week. All right, today we're talking about paralysis by analysis, which is simply a fancy and kind of hard way to pronounce somebody who will overthink something to the point where they don't ever take action. They overanalyze and then they do nothing with it what they spent all that time overanalyzing. This unfortunately happens to a lot of people who are just learning about the tax sell business. Now many people will see the basics behind tax sell investing. They approach it as okay, we buy a property that got foreclosed because somebody did not pay their taxes. And then we sell it and then we make money. And sure, that is kind of it in a nutshell, but then they go a little bit deeper when they start getting into the business. They quickly realize there's a lot of technicalities in the tax sale business. They first realize that they have no clue about the properties that they're purchasing because it's not like buying something on the open market. And this is one of the first frustrations. How can you possibly buy something without knowing what it is? So how do I do all this research? And then they research how to research and then they research that some more. And then maybe they stumble on selling tax foreclosure real estate and they realize that title clouds exist when it comes to tax foreclosure real estate. Then they begin researching title clouds, suit to quiet titles, they look at case laws, they research attorneys, all this kind of stuff when it's unnecessary right now. They spend all this time trying to figure it out when they're not even to that yet, when it's not really even time to think about it. They just dig and they dig and they dig. And a lot of it comes with tax sale investing because it is such a technical business. You can easily get caught up in the never ending loop of analysis. So let's go over a few ways that you can avoid putting yourself on the never ending cycle of paralysis by analysis. And I've got four kind of key points that I want to go over with you. And they're kind of in random order here. So the first one is to always have a goal. And this shouldn't be a goal like I want to make my first $10 million or anything like that. Make it a manageable goal. Have a small piece, make it something that's valuable that you can accomplish rather easily. For example, if you're working on learning how to research tax fault real estate, how to do that due diligence, then you shouldn't focus on learning the entire research process in one day. Instead, your goal could be to learn how to use the property assessor's website, which is just one small piece of the overall research puzzle. Now, this could take you a day or it could take you a week. Don't rush it, but work on accomplishing that one specific task before you move on to others. And then you need to take small steps forward from there to your bigger overall goals. And this can be both on a micro and a macro level. So if you're learning to read a property assessor's report, maybe start off by determining what one specific section of that report means. So for example, you might have different zoning classifications that are listed on your property assessor reports. So what does all those classifications mean and how they apply to you? And then you work on another section and another section, another section until you finally figure out all of that property assessor's report. So that's gonna help you on the micro level, which again will help you on the bigger level, the macro level when it comes to overall research. So we have the property assessor's report, which is one small piece, and we combine it with all the rest of the due diligence stuff that we need to learn about. So eventually you're gonna work on your accomplishing that overall goal of knowing how to research tax defaulted real estate. The next suggestion is to forget perfection. If I was worried about perfection, you would not be watching this video right now. I wouldn't have a single video here on my YouTube. I wouldn't have a podcast and I would never have been able to reach as many people as I've reached over the years. Now, do we need to know everything possible about a piece of real estate before we buy it? Of course, absolutely. That's what I really recommend you do, know everything possible about it. But if you focus too much on perfection, on knowing every single detail of the tax sale business in every single county and every single state and just overwhelm yourself, you will never move forward. So don't focus on perfection, focus on progress. The last one is to put yourself on some sort of timeline. So I'm always shocked 
at how much I can get done at the last possible second before I go somewhere, right? For a business trip or vacation or whatever it may be. And there's a lot of people just like me that tend to procrastinate. But it's shocking how much we can get done. So put yourself on some sort of timeline. Now, I urge you to do this kind of upfront, kind of give yourself an idea of what you're shooting for right out of the gate. So for example, this week, mark on your calendar. I wanna learn all about tax cell research. I'm gonna learn all about quiet titles or whatever it may be. And again, make it manageable but maintain that constant forward momentum. That way, when it's time to start planning to go into auction, you can go ahead and mark that on your calendar as well. Now, what I suggest you do is mark it down to hold yourself accountable. But I've said this many times before, when it comes to setting goals for the tax sale business, the wrong way to set your goal is to say, I will buy a property within 30 days or 45 days or whatever timeline you have. Don't put yourself on a timeline to buy a piece of real estate at a tax sale auction. Because what happens then is you force yourself to play by the rules that other people set, like your competition bidding up that price, which means you're going to overspend and, of course, you're going to waste money and lose money, all that good stuff. So don't put yourself on a timeline necessarily to buy a property, but do put yourself on a timeline when it comes to spotting the right opportunity when it does come along. So it's all about maintaining that constant forward momentum. Keep learning every single day. That's one of the biggest things a lot of people go through in the tax sale business. They'll learn one or two pieces and then everything else they kind of forget about or they rush or whatever. Just keep learning on a constant, never-ending basis. I've been in this business for almost two decades now and that's something that I really focus on myself. What can I learn today to help continue propel my tax sale business? So put that as a goal in your life to constantly learn, constantly have that momentum to help build that success that you desire in this business. So hopefully this helped you get over the paralysis by analysis when it comes to the tax sale business. If we can help in any other way, there are a whole bunch of links down below in this video's description. You can also head on over to taxcellacademy.com. You can grab this book right here, Tax Sell Playbook. All you have to do is cover the shipping cost. I actually bought the book for you. I want to ship you a physical copy. It's not an ebook or anything like that. I want to ship you this book right here. And you can also join the academy on that same website, taxcellacademy.com, for the most comprehensive step-by-step -step advanced training that we offer. Hey, take care, folks, and make it a successful day. See ya.